script link button to change it. Okay, so this is the template for a serial command. Um, whereas the relay command we um, we use system functions such as closed relay and open relay. In this case, we're going to use a different system function called send message. Um, now it turns out that send message is actually a special function, and we can only use it effectively within a command script, not within a port listener script or within an activity button script, but only within a command script. Um, it does have a more generic cousin called send message to port, and we can use that anywhere. Um, the two are very similar. The only difference is that in the case of send message to port, we have to supply the port ID in addition to our message text. Um, now why have two functions? Well, when writing a script for a command, Redeye knows the device to which the command is attached, and therefore it knows the port to which the device is attached so it can figure out the port ID for us. And the benefit of the using send message is that our commands are more generic. Um, and they don't have that port ID in there. And that allows us to move a device from port one to port two without editing all of our command scripts. So when you are creating a command, we recommend using send message. And um, you know, if you do that, and then you, your other scripts, instead of sending message, generally you would want to execute the commands themselves, and then you don't have to worry about ever the, using the send message to port thing, or very rarely. Um, all right. So here we are. Um, we're going to start by deleting the comments at the top and the bottom of the script. And then I'm going to format the message. And I've started by selecting the text inside the quotation marks. These quotation marks are important um, because I'm going to type the actual literal string which Red Eye is going to send to the AVR. Um, if I take out the quotation marks, that means it's a variable name. And we don't have any variables here, so it's defined. So, so here's the text I'm going to send. Um, to know what this, what I should put in here, I had to refer to the documentation for the receiver I'm controlling. And in this case, the specifica specification tells me a couple of things. First, I know that I need to send a carriage return both before and after each command. And in our scripting language, I produce a carriage return by using the backslash r, as I've done here. Um, backslash n is another common one that's a new line. Um, in between, and we'll talk about all the scripting syntax and stuff in our session next week. Um, in between the carriage returns, I enter the command text. It's pretty simple. It's main.power equals on. And please note that red eye is case sensitive, even if the equipment you're controlling is not. So for example, in the carriage return, the R's must be lowercase or they won't produce a carriage return. Um, okay. And so that's all we need for the power on command. Before I 